Hello and welcome to the Mercury Vapor Glow channel. Today I have for you this West German Helux LRF 300 fixture. This fixture is a fluorescent fixture or low pressure mercury vapor if we prefer to call it that. And it features this U-shaped 65 or T8 58 watt bulb that were so popular in West Germany, but were not popular anywhere else, basically. And uh, this fixture here is uh, pretty interesting with, because it's an old design, but a quite recent uh, made fixture. So interesting thing is the logo here of Helux and the drop that signifies it's for auto use. And uh, this fixture is a casting and it's a pretty thick aluminum casting basically, so it's a pretty heavy fixture. And you can see it has uh, on the top, uh, it has some pitting, so this is maybe not the most quality casting ever, but it's really solid and it will last basically forever. The paint has chipped a little bit here on the top probably from people tossing it around or something but uh, since it's aluminum not much will happen to it and then when we look underneath it we see that there is a bowl with this diffuser uh, pattern on it and this this bowl is actually quite crudely uh, cut out and you can see for example here it was cut uh, not so perfect and it's a, it's a lot smaller than the gasket here, the felt gasket. So on both sides, the felt gasket looks uh, pretty huge. Like it's uh, it's uh, sticks over the bowl a lot, and it's one of the features of this fixture. Somehow here here it's even more. So you have to see if this bowl sits right every time when you uh, close the fixture, because you may that there's this contraption here, here are two hooks here and there, there are two hooks here and uh, there is this kind of wire that goes all around the fixture, here it's uh, riveted on three hinges and this is what's holding the bowl on the fixture. So maybe let's just open this up, you push it to the side like this and it's springs open and releases the bowl and now we can the bowl just goes down and it doesn't fall out because here there are these two holders that are welded uh, like point welded to the um uh, to, to this wire and this is still holding the uh, bowl so the bowl doesn't fall down actually pretty well thought through and here on the inside we have you can see here a holder for this u-shaped 50 watt tube. This is a more recent fixture, so this is not for a T12 but for a T8 bulb. The a T12 bulb would not fit here. You can see it's pretty tight. It's, uh, the T8 bulbs fit only here. And then as we go down, uh, there is the bulb holder here for the U-shaped fluorescent uh, with this uh, metal strap here and you push release the bulb here. and. Here is actually the sticker that says it's the LRF 300 1 times 58 watt U-shaped EVG means elektronisches Vorschaltgerät, so it means it's electronically ballasted. And here is the Aura U-Power Long Life tube that I got with this fixture. It's uh, a 830, so it's a warm white one. I believe this fixture came from north uh, of Germany, like Hamburg or. Something like that. Uh, Helux comes from Hanover actually, so it's like in the north of Germany. And in the north of Germany, they always prefer the uh, light bulbs that are warmer light somehow. And in the south, they use the neutral white more. I don't know exactly why, but uh, they do it this way. If you open this latch here, you turn it this way, this uh, reflector actually comes down. and it's hinged up here so it won't fall out and like this we can gain a side on the 
mounting here. I have not wired it entirely correctly, but uh, I just did it for the purpose for this video. But you have this electrical block here where you would actually put your wire in and a little capacitor for smoothing radio wave uh, pollution. And then down here you have this strap that to mount it to a mast. And here on the mast there is a second screw, so you can tighten this really, really well and really easily. It works really well. And then here this electrical block, this black one, also allows to detach. So you can take out, you can see the wire hanging here. So you can detach this wire and just take out the reflector completely. And it's a pretty boring because there is just this electronic ballast in here and not much more. So the wires go into the electronic ballast is a tridonic ballast for 65 watt bulbs. Let's see if I can go with the camera. It's, it's a pretty usual ballast here. And then the four wires go down here to the sockets. It's all on one side because it's a U-shaped bulb. So, and here is the contraption. Also here, this, this, this thing to close the reflector. So it's a pretty easy design actually, but really well made here on the other side here. You can see here this would go in and let's just do that. Let's just close this thing up. And uh, I hope I can do it one-handed. I actually can, so this is really well made. I mean, compar compared to the Trilux fixture that I have, for example, this is, this is really easy. So let's just put you down for a short time, because I need to really see where I put the bowl while closing it. It should not push on anything, because if it does, it's actually here on the down portion I need to move the bowl a little bit further so that I don't crush it with this wire here it still makes like a strange noise but I don't want to harm the bowl I don't think I can get another one so yes this is the fixture back together let's fire it up and see how it works I'd say I just put you down and the startup is a little delayed, you will see, because it's a warm start. Pre so it's, pre it's preheating the ends uh, of the bulb. It's, it's not a preheat, but it's this program start type that prolongs the life of the, uh, of the bulbs. And this is good because these bulbs are quite expensive. You can still get them new, but they are quite expensive and uncommon and it's quite hard to get them. So, well. Let's start. The program start takes about a second or so. Let's try it again. And unplug it and plug it in again. Again, it's a program start, so it's still. It is still starting with the delay, even the second time. If it was just a electronic uh, ballast with a uh, thermistor, in it, it would not start. Uh, with preheat the second time, but it still does. So it's a program start by some microcontroller. It's it's a really good ballast actually. This Tridonic ballasts are pretty well made, and I have to say for the 55 watts that this uh, fixture takes and sits, it's not a preheat fixture with magnetic ballast, but it's electronically ballasted. The ballast loss is probably very little. So this is like a 60 watt fixture. The light output is pretty amazing and. Uh, why did they do this U-shaped bulbs? Because it allowed the fixture to be a lot smaller than if it was two times 40 watt. And the efficiency of the fluorescence goes up with their length actually. So the 65 watt or here 58 watt fluorescent is a little more efficient than the 40 watt. And this is a little more efficient than the 20 watt and so on. So. This is how you get maximum efficiency, but from a quite small fixture. So this is why they prefer to do it this way. And they did it for many, many years up until LED times, actually. So yeah, this oh, the only downside is that you have the special bulb all the time. And these bulbs are not that common in private homes and uh, 
can be hard to get and uh, like uh, at least 10 bucks or 20 bucks depending on where you get them so yeah i hope you like this video thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one bye bye